Okay, I got a number of projects going on. Um, I just finished um, one of my FPV projects, and I have another one that I'm about to start. But in the meantime, uh, I've been collecting parts for a tricopter. And um, so here we go. I, I think I've got just about everything I need to uh, start working on this tricopter. So I think I'm going to take some time and try to put it together. Okay, basically what I've got here is... Um, I'm going to build a tricopter frame out of 10 millimeter wood square stock. Uh, it's pretty light, it's pretty strong comparatively speaking. Since this is my first tricopter project, I'm going to use this uh, initially and see how it works. Just, to, just for a proof of concept to see if I can get this thing to fly right. Basically what this is going to be, a uh, tricopter is a three motor, three bladed helicopter so to speak but um, instead of doing any real pitching back and forth it's a much more stable flight platform so my intentions are to make something that I can do some aerial video with some fairly stable aerial video and the way this thing is going to work is I've got here to start off with this I've got three um, exceed RC motors. These particular motors here are the whoops, these particular motors here are the Exceed Alpha 450 uh, 890 KV motors. So I'm going to take three of these and I'm going to mount one on the end of each one of these booms. And I'm going to have the booms out in three different directions. and Two in the front and one in the back. Um, the two in the front are going to be stationary and they're going to control the roll of the tricopter and also the altitude. Um, the one in the back is going to also control the altitude but it's going to control the yaw and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to mount it on a movable platform on this helicopter uh, blade grip and I'm going to control this with a 16 gram Turnergy servo. So as the servo moves, it'll tilt that motor back and forth. So the picture is kind of like I've got a motor mounted here, and it's running. And as I tilt this, it's going to tilt the motor back and forth. And what that's going to do, that's going to want to yaw the tricopter back and forth. So that's going to be all, there's going to be one of these in the back to control the yaw. All motors together will control the altitude. The two motors in front will control the roll. The back motor will also control the pitch as it goes up and down. So how do I uh, control these motors? How do the motors going to keep this platform stable? Um, the way you do that is the tricopter has to know what its attitude is. The roll, the pitch, the altitude, well not so much the altitude, but just the roll and the pitch, and the yaw. Roll, pitch, yaw. Three things. The way we're going to do that is with uh, helicopter gyroscopes. I've got three of these inexpensive head-locking gyros, if I can get one open, right here. Um, basically standard headlock helicopter gyro. I've got three of these. I'm going to mount three of them, one on each arm of the helicopter to control that direction. And then I'm going to have one in the middle to control the yaw. So at any given time, these gyros are going to want to keep that thing stable. If it starts yawing, this gyro right here is going to activate this motor and counteract that movement. These three gyros are going to control these three motors here. So as the tricopter wants to tip this way, these gyros are going to sense that. They're going to speed up this motor. It's going to pull that forward. Any, such, any part that drops or goes up, the gyro should counteract it. If it, goes, if it drops, the gyro is going to speed the motor up and raise it up. 
if it goes up too high the gyro is going to slow the motor down and so it should give a pretty stable flight providing we can adjust the gains um, good enough on those. Next, let's see, I've got a big stack of wire. I'm going to be running lot, lots of wires down these booms. Um, the gyros are not going to connect directly to the motors. They're going to be connected to these speed controls here. These particular ESCs are the Exceed RC Proton 30s. They're 30 amp speed controls. I'll have one on each motor. They'll all be run into a flight pack. All of these uh, will be wired together and running to my um, my receiver. Three motors, three gyros, three speed controllers. Next, this. Um, this is actually a killer little deal here. What this is, this is a uh, this is an orange receiver, uh, DSM-2, for the Spectrum. It's a 22.4 gigahertz uh, receiver, and it's basically a, a, a knockoff version of the uh, Spectrum's receiver, only a whole lot cheaper. I think I paid 13 bucks for this thing from Hobby King, and I can tell you it works pretty well, especially for this, this project. It'll be perfect for it. Next, I got two blue lipo 22 milliamp hour 25c 3 cell 11.1 .1 volt flight packs uh, I'll probably be using one at a time but I got two to go along with my other stack of about 20 that I use to fly my planes and helicopters um, next we have I guess this is about a 3 to 6 AS UBEC or battery eliminator circuit and what this is going to do is this going to send I'm going to, through this BEC I'm going to be able to send the 12 volts to my gyros to spin those up before I send the 12 volts to my ESCs so once the ESCs are powered up the gyros are already going to be initialized um, so hopefully everything will work together that way if I don't do that uh, the ESCs are not going to arm properly because the gyros are not going to be spun up and who knows still might not work I'm not convinced that these gyros are going to work with this e these ESCs I got a couple of more ESCs I got a six or eight other gyros but I don't have three matching these are the only three that I have that are matching uh, I take that back I got three Teleby gyros that I'm not using so maybe I'll try if these if I can't get these to work I'll try the Telebees I know certain gyros have problems with certain uh, speed controllers. Uh, these speed controllers, by the way, are programmable. Um, a lot of different parameters on these things you can set. And for that, I also purchased for the first time a speed controller programming card. And what this does is you plug your a little battery in, you plug your uh, speed controller in, you got little buttons down here. To select all these parameters, the brake, the battery type, uh, the cutoff, soft cutoff, um, the voltage cutoff, start mode, soft, very soft, normal, timing mode, um, the music for the lipo cells, governors, that kind of thing. I can do all that in this little card rather than having to do it all for my transmitter stick up and down, up and down, up and down. I've never been able to program with the transmitter stick. I don't have the patience for it. So uh, this will be great for me. Finally, I have a couple of different um, propellers here. I've got some GWS. These are 10 by 47 slow fly props. They're very light, very flexible props. Um, I've not had tremendous luck with these. I've used them in the past. I've got a couple of motors, little uh, 1,000 kV motors. And uh, these things just flex and make all kind of racket. So I've not really had good luck using these. I'm hoping maybe this, these 890 kV motors might work better with these, but um, we'll see. The reason I got these is they're very light. Next I've got some heavier duty 10x47 EPRO 
10 by 4, 7. Both of these are slow fly props, as you can tell by the shape. But these are much more stout um, and a little bit heavier, or a good bit heavier, actually. Not a good bit, but a little bit heavier. So if, I, if these don't work, or if these flex too much, I'll try these. I also have some 9 by 4, 7 props, but they're little wussy props. When they came in, I was like, Ugh, I can't buy anything with these. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, put them on a rubber band plane or whatever. But anyway, um, all parts are here. 10 millimeter stock is uh, partially here. I need to get a couple more sheets of this, pieces of this. And uh, yeah, I'll be ready to put this thing together. I think the first thing I need to do is uh, mount my gyros and hook them up to three servos that simulate these motors and uh, make sure they're not reversed make sure the you know they're all set up correctly before I hook them up to the ESC so um, maybe a project that I'll work on this weekend maybe even finish this week there's the current project going on right now and I'll, I'll shoot some video take some pictures as I move along with it and post those on the internet um, next project I've got coming uh, I have a I have a Multiplex Easy Star airframe on the way that should be here next week and I'm going to convert that to an FPV plane, a single motor FPV plane specifically for long range FPV. Um, I'm going to try to see what it takes to get out a mile or two with my plane. I've got some flight plans set up that I want to try, uh, you know, flying down some rivers to bridges and back and things like that. That'll be a project for next weekend. Let's see what else. Um, oh, one more thing is I'll be resurrecting one of my uh, cub planes from the bone yard because uh, it was just fun to fly and I've been thinking about it. And I think it's the Mikey's RC Sport Trainer actually. I'm going to be putting some landing gear on that. Um, piecing it back together and taking it back out to the field for you know just to play with so anyway that's it for, for now um i'll keep you posted later